Mets continue to stay alive in the National League East. And they'll trust the ball to Taiwan Walker tonight. Taiwan, as we talked about in game one with Carrasco with the splitter, splitter a key pitch for him. And as you said, a tale of two halves for him. He's not going as deep. He's got to be a little more efficient with the fastball and then use the splitter when he needs it. And Thomas goes down swinging on the splitter. And Walker has a strikeout to start his night. So one out and nobody on now C.J. Abrams and he strikes out Abrams a back to back strikeouts for Taiwan who is not a big strikeout pitcher but he starts tonight with two in a row. So two out and nobody on now Joey Manessas and Joey Manessas trying to drop one into right center and he will. So that'll extend the first inning for a while as pal Joey continues to use the entire ballpark. Luis Garcia stands in first pitch curveball hit hard to second but right to Luis Guillorme he's got it throws it to first and retires Garcia to win the inning. Regular guy it's against Paula who's 2 and 0 with a 133 ERA in his career against the Mets and still looking for that first win this year. There's Nemo who hit a single double and home run in the opener drove in three of the four med runs and Brandon hits one out to right field chasing Thomas back to the warning track at the wall it's out of here. Nemo homers again his second home run of the day. And the Mets are again off to an early lead thanks to the bat of Brandon Nimmo. A leadoff home run for Nimmo, his 16th of the year, and it's 1 0 New York. Here's Francisco Lindor. And he launches one to deep right field, and back goes Thomas for a look, but that is way out of here up in the second deck. Nimmo and Lindor hit back to back home runs to start the first inning, and it's 2 0 New York. Number 26 for Lindor, and he crushed it. Well, we got, look who got the fan. ball. Yeah, we got a lucky fan. Mark in the park. We, we, we got a new play toy. I don't think he's giving that one to Bob <laughs> or anybody else. <laughs> Two nothing Mets right out of the gate. Back to back homers. Now Jeff McNeil. McNeil drives one to right. This one's going to go three in a row to start the game. Nimmo, Lindor, and McNeil back to back to back to start the first inning. First time in the Mets 61 years that they have ever let off a first inning with back to back to back home runs. Jeff with his ninth of the year as he chases a batting title and joins the home run barrage. And it's 3 0 New York. Six straight Mets reach base to start the first inning. And now the base is loaded with nobody out for Mark Canna. And Mark gets the breaking ball and flicks it out to right field, tagging it third Alonzo. Thomas over to make the catch. Alonzo is going to try it. The throw to the plate by Thomas, the slide, and Alonzo safe. Barrera thought he got him, but Alonzo is safe, and it's 4 0 New York on the sack fly by Canna. So it's 4 0 New York. That's the first down, and now Guillaume bats with two on. Guillaume hits a grounder down the first base line of fair ball. Past the sliding Manessis. Around third, Vogelback will come home. Escobar's on his way to third. He slams the brakes. Luis Guillaume's got an RBI double, and the Mets are just mowing down Paulo Espino. And it's 5 to nothing here in the first. That's going to be all for Paolo Espino, who gets just one out. And they'll bring in Reed Garrett in long relief. Two away. But now the inning will roll back to the top of the order. And to Brandon Nemo, who got the home run string started earlier in this inning. Nemo dumps one in the left field for a base hit. Escobar is in. Guillaume will come on home. Nemo with three RBIs in the first game. He's got three RBIs in the first inning of the second game. And it's 7 to nothing, New York. That's how one Walker got the uh, the bonus round. Seven nothing lead as we go to the second. Luke Voigt leads off. A little flare over the mound. Charging is Guillaume with a bare hand play. And he threw him out. Las Manos de Oro. Guillaume bare hands and throws out Voigt. One away. At seven, Washington nothing. Josh Palacios leads off the third. Pitch in there for a call. Strike three. Palacios called out on strikes. Walker has his fourth strikeout of the night. And on the board, they acknowledge his 800 career strikeout. A one out single here for the Nationals in the top of the third. Lane Thomas, the leadoff batter. And that curveball's in for a call strike three. So he changed the game plan a little bit after all the splitters and dropped the curveball on the outside corner to get Thomas for his fifth strikeout. So Vargas just into the game drops a double down the left field line and the Nats have runners at second and third. Now here's Joey Manessis who had a pop fly single and a right his first time up and a splitter strikes out Manessis to end the inning. Six strikeouts for Walker. He's got a seven nothing lead. Now Brandon Nimmo who is having himself quite a day. He had three RBIs in the first inning alone tonight a leadoff home run and then a two run single and Nimmo hits one toward the gap in left center field slicing away from call. 
that ball hits at the base of the wall. And Nimmo's got himself yet another extra base hit. His fourth extra base hit of the day. Nimmo putting on a show. Taiwan Walker will work to Luis Garcia. Open things up. Good splitter by Taiwan to strike out Luis Garcia. Big strikeout night for Walker. That's his seventh over three and a third. So seven of the ten outs Taiwan has gotten tonight have been via the strikeout. And he blows him away with a fastball. So Walker just keeps on piling up the strikeouts. Eight Ks over three and two thirds. Alex Cole, the center fielder, will now step in. On the outside corner, Call strike three at the letter. Three strikeouts in the inning for Taiwan Walker, nine on the night. Well, it's over in Miami. And for the fifth straight year, the Atlanta Braves are champions of the National League East. Mets will be hosting the wild card. So the Mets chances of winning the division title have gone by the boards even as they try to win their hundredth game of the year. Walker picks up his tenth strikeout of the night. Third time this year he struck out ten or more as he fans Palacios to start the fifth. After ten strikeouts over four and a third scoreless innings. Beautiful work to finish his regular season and now we'll see what's ahead for Taiwan as the Mets move into the postseason. Francisco Alvarez is hitting in the number one spot in the order. Alvarez looking for his first big league hit, his first plate appearance at City Field. Curveball drilled to deep left center field, headed back toward the wall, and it's out of here! Francisco Alvarez's first big league hit is a long home run! Welcome to City Field, Francisco Alvarez. 27 home runs in the minor leagues this year, and now his first big league hit. He takes it out of sight. And we can officially welcome the top prospect in all of baseball, Francisco Alvarez, to the big leagues. So the Nationals are down to their final out of the night. Mets on the verge of their sixth doubleheader sweep of the year. Hit to shortstop, played by Guillaume, forced play, and the ball game is over. And for just the fourth time in their history, and the first time in 34 years, the Mets have won 100 games. It comes on a bittersweet day when the National League East slipped, slipped away, but the Mets will be heading for the postseason with triple digits and wins. Pat and Chase is presented by Roman, the official men's digital health clinic of Major League Baseball.